Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it I am back in the bush trip, Interstate 5 uh, bush trip, or I-5, as a lot of people, uh, especially out there in the West, uh, call it, and it's by perfect flight. Uh, we are, today, we are in uh, Oregon. We're part of part two, the Kelso to Ashland, and today's leg is uh, leg two, Aurora State to Balansweet Field in Eugene. Uh, it's about uh, 72 nautical miles and uh, shouldn't take us but maybe a half hour to fly. Uh, there's some s seven different points of interest and I'll probably not be doing much narration myself. Uh, it's going to be just kind of a long, you know, a nice trip and an opportunity for you to uh, just kind of see a lot of really nice farmland in here. So uh, I am going to get this started and uh, I will see you in the cockpit. Okay, we are back here in the cockpit and I have uh, got my elevation all set. We're gonna fly at 2000 foot elevation again. Uh, with a uh, vertical uh, speed of uh, 500 and so I think we're just about ready to take off uh, the first narration is going to start just right after we get take uh, take off we are facing north and so we're going to be turning to the right and following I-5 so once we get turned around uh, and then she'll be doing the narration through there uh, then I'll pop outside of the cockpit so let's uh, get this uh, rolling. And it's going to pop up and say, yeah, I know the brake is on, but I got to do the run up. All right. Get the brake and we're ready to take off. And there we go. All right. And we'll get uh, flying in the right direction and then I will hit the uh, autopilot. We will be good to go. After takeoff, turn slightly right to follow I-5. Our next reporting point will be Woodburn. Woodburn is located in Marion County, about 20 miles south of Portland, and it is known for its rich agricultural heritage and is home to the Woodburn Premium Outlets, which are a popular shopping destination for both locals and tourists. The city also hosts the annual Woodburn Fiesta Mexicana, which celebrates the Hispanic culture and traditions of the area. Well, getting squared away here. Five hundred. All right, we should be. Uh, there we go. We're rolling along. All right, now that we've got that uh, squared away, that first part is out of the way. Uh, we should be turning around here, and that is I five over there. So let's pop outside of the cab. And yep, that's I-5 right there. And so uh, I think I've pretty much gotten the sound so that uh, you can hear her voice a little bit better. Uh, I've been tinkering with the sounds in uh, the flight simulator, trying to get a little uh, clearer voice. So at this point, uh, we're just gonna fly along and uh, enjoy the flight.
Keep going straight, and you will soon reach Salem, the capital city of the state of Oregon. With a population of over 170,000 people, Salem is the second largest city in the state after Portland. The city is situated in the heart of the Willamette Valley, which is known for its fertile farmland and scenic beauty. Salem is also home to a number of historic landmarks, including the Oregon State Capitol Building, which is open for public tours. Additionally, the city has a thriving arts and culture scene with several museums, galleries, and performance venues showcasing local and regional talent. Prepare to fly over a special park. The Enchanted Forest is a popular theme park located in Turner. It offers a variety of rides and attractions suitable for all ages. The park is known for its unique fairy tale and storybook theme, which creates a magical and enchanting atmosphere for visitors. In addition to the rides, the park also features a water park live entertainment and food options. Visitors can ride on a giant slide, a log flume, or even a roller coaster. There are also several attractions for younger children, such as a train ride and a petting zoo. I think that park is right about there, if I uh, can identify it. It's coming up. Here's. This is I-5, if you look at the picture here, you see it kind of coming up through here. And there's that little bit of a point, I think, which is right there. So I think that's where the park is at. Uh, she always uh, narrates long before we get to where uh, uh, she's actually talking about. So I kind of look at the picture and try to figure out uh, exactly where the park is at. So let's see if we can kind of see something up and in here. Uh, it's supposed to be a magical park. It was not there when I was growing up out there. Again, I don't know a lot about Oregon and California. Washington State was my uh, home state that I grew up in. And so uh, uh, I'm learning just as much on this flight down as uh, you guys are. Yeah, again, I think this area right here is where that park is at. Now, Albany. It is the county seat of Lynn County and has a population of approximately 57,000 residents. Albany is known for its historic downtown area, which features a variety of shops, restaurants, and cultural attractions. The city is also home to several parks and recreational areas, including the Talking Water Gardens and Monteith River Park. Albany is home to a diverse range of businesses, including manufacturing, healthcare, and technology companies.
So again, uh, this area is way up here, and so uh, I will uh, point it out once we get up there. So if you look at this picture, here's the river coming around, and that's where this uh, bend is right here. Uh, this uh, business area is right this spot right here. And so uh, as we fly over it, if you look close, you'll see uh, this building here and these other smaller structures. Matter of fact, this building right here is this building right here. And you can kind of see the off-ramp uh, coming off right here. And this brown structure right along there. Farm Festival, which celebrates the agricultural heritage of the area. The festival features a parade live music food vendors and a variety of family-friendly activities. I'm not exactly sure where this is at. We should be flying right over it at some point. I'll try to spot it and point it out when we get to it. this area right here this this interchange and overpass I think yeah these are these small buildings right here there's that little road right along there and uh, looks like uh, a parking area so yeah that's this spot here on the picture a large flat area and reach Harrisburg, a small town located in Lynn County. The town is known for its agricultural industry with crops such as hazelnuts, grass seed and vegetables being grown in the area. In terms of attractions and activities, Harrisburg is a great place for outdoor enthusiasts. The town is surrounded by beautiful natural scenery, including nearby forests, rivers and parks.
think it's this uh, patch right here. So as we're getting a little closer, uh, you see this road along the side right here. That's this road here. There's a, the, the trees are along there. Uh, and there's that row of trees. So that is the spot in the picture right here. And I believe we should be getting close to making our turn towards the Mallon Sweet Field, which is off over here. Slightly to the right and prepare to land at Mail and Sweet Field, located in Eugene. The airport is named after Mail and Sweet, a Eugene businessman who played a major role in the development of aviation in the region during the 1920s and 1930s. Mail and Sweet Field has two runways and a passenger terminal with several airlines offering flights to several domestic destinations. The airport also has a general aviation terminal and facilities for private and corporate aircraft. And here is a uh, picture of the field. Now we are going to be coming in on uh, runway left, uh, which is here. So we'll be swinging around and then coming in this way. So let's uh, minimize this and have a little bit more look around out here and once I'm ready to uh, land or get things set up I'll uh, go inside the cab so enjoy a little bit more Okay, I think it's about time to go inside the cab and let's start getting ready to land. All right, here we are. Let's uh, take over control here. See my buttons, turn that off, that off, and that off. And start slowing it down. We need to swing around this away a little bit. This is a rather large airport in at least land area. Now, I've never been to the airport myself other than flying in in the simulator here, but it really does appear to be a fairly large airport. So let's uh, start uh, slowing this thing down. It's too busy talking. Hit a flap and let's start uh, bringing this around. Should be somewhat getting lined up on uh, runway left. Good. Let's see if I can uh, get closer to the center. I usually have a problem kind of hitting this. I always manage to land on the runways, but have a problem kind of hitting right at the center of the runway. bad Get 
back on the throttle. this taxiway. No, we'll have to hit the next taxiway. All right. And hopefully that's not too far up here. There it is. I see it coming up. All right. Again, let's take a wide swing with this uh, aircraft for some reason. It does not turn on a dime. Okay, uh, looks like we can kind of go straight ahead here, I believe. And I think we can just park right over here. And here we are. There we go. Leg completed. 30 minutes, exactly. So uh, let's check our stats. Here's our stats. 26 minutes. And uh, from uh, Aurora State to uh, Malin Suite uh, here in Eugene. All right. So uh, that was uh, leg number two of part two of the Interstate 5 I-5 Bush Trip Series made done by Perfect Flight. Uh, so uh, it was uh, about 72 miles today. And we had seven different points of interest coming down through there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so if you did enjoy the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video out a lot. And uh, please subscribe. That will really help the channel. Uh, ring that bell. It will always let you know when I have uh, new videos that I'm uploading and I am uploading videos on a weekly basis. And so all you flight simmers out there, keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.